Hello, good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Here I am again. I want to post today the sixth vision about judgment. And this came to me on October 21, 2008, at about 7 a.m. Yes. As usual, after praying my morning prayer, but my eyes were still closed. I could see at first dark shadows moving from north to south. And then I saw explosions above like fireworks. And these were repeated five times. Explosions in the clouds above with orange flames and after about 10 seconds it was gone out of my sight so the prophecy of this this is the confirmation of the word of God in the book of Mark chapter 13 verse 7 It says, you will see some nations at war will cause the people to flee to safer nation. And when you see these signs, then the end is near, right at the door. When you hear humors of war, don't be alarmed. Such thing must happen, but the end is still to come. <laughs> The world will begin to mourn as darkness increases day by day. So worship God in spirit and truth. God Yahweh and His Son Yahushua HaMashiach will save you if you have given your life to Him, to the Lord Jesus, and have received His Spirit. That is the fact, and that is proven. So, that's the prophecy. If anyone doesn't have the Spirit of the Lord, is not born again, then for sure, he will perish. Because it says, Those who have been called by my name and living holy as I am holy need not fear. You are covered by the blood of my son, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, with his blood as covering. If you have received his Holy Spirit, if you have given up your life to him, is very clear in his word. You have accepted my son and live by my word and live being holy, then you need not fear. You have entered into my body as one body of Christ, as one family. I'll be with you up to the end. Just hold on to what you have. I'm coming soon. Be faithful to keep my word and my everlasting love, which is the covenant of love. So, it's very clear in his word. So, again, we have to make a choice. He has his word and we have to make a choice. Lord Jesus loves you so much. Before you can come to the Father, you have to pass through Him, as it is stated in the Word of God. No one can come to my Father except through me, He said. So, Lord Jesus loves you unconditionally. His kindness, His mercy, His uh, abounding love 
will lead you to repentance. So, without repentance, you cannot come to Him. You cannot have a relationship with Him because He is holy. So, the very first thing to do is to humble yourselves, come to Him in humility and confess your sins, surrendering yourself and then accepting Him as Lord and Savior, giving your life to Him, promising to follow Him after you have given your life, after you have been set free and redeemed, then you have to follow Him and you will experience prosperity in following Him, peace, joy, that comes only from Him. So, that's it. I'll pray for you that you may continuously seek Him for He may be found. That is found in the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 5 and 6. In worship, of course, because He is present when we worship Him, when we praise Him in spirit and truth. So bye for now. May the sweet blessings of the Lord be with you. Bye-bye.